Welcome back to Thursday's Midday. We now have Stacey Blumquist, Blumquist with us with the latest from the Kasachi National Forest. Now that we are officially in the spring season, Stacey, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Well, yes, it's kind of an exciting time for Kasachi yeah. because it's spring and people are getting out mm -hmm. now. I like how you had it advertised blooming. The Kasachi is blooming. And yes, <laughs> what a perfect time to go outside with everything blooming, the flowers, the shrubs, and then the trees are leafing out. Mm -hmm. It's just so pretty and green right now. Yes. And a little bit of yellow. Hello, right? We got pollen covering everything. I know everybody's mm -hmm. allergies are kicking in, but mm -hmm. despite all that, it's still wonderful to get outside and have that fresh air and see the beautiful colors that are on the forest right now. Absolutely. So. Yeah, because, you know, everything kind of goes away for a while and then spring mm -hmm. comes and it's like, yeah, a completely different area. It is. I mean, the trees are no longer bare and the the pretty green coming out, the new leaves, and it's just something like a, a rebirth, you know, when you right. go out to see nature. And just like our yards and our homes, are, you know, if you have azaleas, they're all blooming right now. Mm -hmm. Our native azaleas are blooming mm -hmm. and they're attracting uh, butterflies or swallowtails out there. And I happened to see a luna moth the other day when I was out wow. uh, on a trail. It's just all the insects are coming out. And so definitely spray because the mosquitoes were out too and I'm oh, sure yeah. the ticks and chiggers will be coming out too um, as well so protect yourself if you're going on a hike mm -hmm. so we're just encouraging this is a great time to go out hike take your camera and, and do a, a photo shoot that way you yeah know, instead of shooting with a gun you don't have to you could just take your camera and go <laughs> out and get some really great photos right now of the spring absolutely and so as we're talking about this you know springtime people are hitting those hiking trails mm -hmm. And we're, you know, we've already talked about being careful with the bugs, but there's right. also other stuff out there. That's right. So Louisiana is really fortunate. We have seven venomous snakes in our state. Great. So we have like four <laughs> different kinds of rattlesnakes and then the coral snake, the moccasin or cotton mouth, some people call them. And then we have a uh, copperhead. Mm. So those copperheads are so well camouflaged among the leaves. Absolutely. And we have a lot of leaves and pine straw on the forest floor. So we just ask everybody just to be careful because mm -hmm. they're out there. I mean, you're in their habitat. Mm -hmm. So we need to be mindful and just be careful because they, they do carry venom. And if they, you get bit, you'll, you know, get really sick. Right, absolutely. Yeah. I, I, I think one of the biggest things is if you if you see it, don't approach, right? Exactly, exactly. I think I have a heart attack just if I <laughs> if one got near me or bit my shoe or something. But yeah, so, but normally on the trail, we make enough noise as we're walking. Right. And some people like to use the hiking, you know, a walking stick, mm -hmm. which I would think is a very good recommendation to take, you know, a suggestion to have one of those. So just, just be mindful, especially especially stepping over logs. Right. There are a lot of logs out there still after Hurricane right. Laura. You don't know what's on the other side of that log, right. so you might want to look or go around and just, but just be careful and mindful okay. of, of the snakes and other critters out there too. So, All right. but yeah, I mean, but I, I've never heard anybody dying from going on a hike or anything for that. So for snakes, so I don't want to scare anybody off, right. I mean, but just be careful. Absolutely, and that's with pretty much everything you're doing. And just real quick, we're almost out of time. Something that we've been talking about too, the cicadas. Oh yes, so this is a year for uh, a double brood cycle coming out. So 13 and 19 will be coming out. And I've heard uh, on Facebook, there's this myth though, that because there's gonna be uh, twice as many um, cicadas this year that copper, Cop copperheads love to eat cicadas. But that doesn't mean we're gonna have more copperheads than ever before because they have a lot of food source, mm -hmm. but they do say copperheads love cicadas. So just, just keep your eye out for those sneaky snakes. All right, Stacy. unfortunately <laughs> we're out of time, but thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome, thank you for having me.